what is going on guys I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show off a new server which is called Tetra 317 so this is a old school source anyways um, let's just show off the game modes real quick okay so we're going to make an account and um, right as you log in you get the server tour and you can have the option to take it or not I'm going to choose no but you can do it uh, now you can have uh, you can select one of the three game modes the normal game mode which gives you a start with 500k some supplies and stuff then you can take the Iron Man mode um, which obviously is self-sufficient so you can trade anything um, then you have the ultimate Iron mode so um, it's the same as Iron Man but you can't use banks either so yeah you're kind of stuck with just your inventory but um, yeah, we're going to use the uh, regular mode. Uh, now you can use the option um, to get harder or better XP rates. I'm just going to take uh, normal. Okay, so just accept and here you go. You have made your account. Also something really cool is right as you, you are on the login screen you have the option to choose between a, a fixed screen, a resizable or a full screen, um, so yeah that's really nice. Okay so right now I'm on my own account, um, but as you can see this is the home place, it's a really nice home, we got a, a lot of shops and stuff, we got some thieving you can do around here. Um, we also have player owned sh uh, shops, so you can view the shops. At the moment there is a shop of Eddie who is selling raw dark crabs. Um, Eddie is the owner by the way, Tetra is a server. Um, as you might remember I made a server video about um, Provoke614, it's the same owner but he just uh, found out uh, that an old school server was way more fun than a 614 source. Um, that's why now he is using this, um, but you can um, get your subs, you can make one and um, yeah people can sell it like that so it's kind of a, a ground exchange anyways you can also view the high scores alright so if you had enough of the home and you really want to buy some stuff you can type colon colon shops uh, which will teleport you to this place and um, right here you have a shop for basically everything you got um, every skill shop here so you got fishing, cooking fire making, wood cutting, fletching, rune crafting, uh, everything and um, you get points for doing skills so um, yeah with those points you can actually buy stuff um, and right here you have the boss point shop um, which obviously sells PVM gear if you get enough boss points you get one boss point for each boss kill I guess uh, depending on how hard the boss is you also get PVM points which can uh, make you buy stuff like this and um, here we have food and potions, pack shop and stuff uh, you can buy all sorts of things here uh, also for armor and skilling and stuff here you have the general store which just sells some small things like bones for example can be really useful just to train prayer up and uh, yeah we also have the, the server, uh, like the donation stores you can get here. Trade him, you can sh uh, look at the credit store, which you get credits for donating obviously. And then you can buy stuff um, with those credits. So yeah, that's uh, some really nice things here. You can also teleport to the members place. So if you have donated, you have access to this place, uh, which also has a thieving stall. Um, you can also look at the drop tables here. So if you you want to find a certain item, for example, Pegasian. Um, this is dropped by Cerberus. And as you can see, it's rare to get a Pegasian crystal. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. You can also find an NPC for example Zolra here you go Zolra and you can see all drops here so yeah that's really awesome so to check out how many points you have to actually look uh, uh, buy stuff at the store you can just 
go to your quest point sign and then look uh, scroll down to player information and point log view um, here you can see uh, everything you got so all the points and um, yeah you can eventually use those at the shops so here is a members boss portal this is only for members obviously if you have access to here and uh, you can teleport to here which is a custom boss and um, yeah I'll show the drop table and just okay so let's have a look to the drop table real quick so um, it is the corrupt Sorcerous, or however you pronounce it so um, it has the chance of dropping gods for blade and abyssal whip master wand one mil cash and the pet infernal mage uh, which is a custom pet there are a lot of custom pets on here we also have um, zazima as a npc which drops a lot of items and uh, really good ones if you ask me as well uh, as you can see here on the rare table not even very rare table you get ring of wealth Magic Shortbow Scroll, Ammo of Fury, you can get Fire Cape, those gloves, uh, Pet Shadow Hound, and um, Full Trimmed Dragon, very rare you can get Ojum Shards, Dragon Egg Visage, and uh, Maldiction Wards, and you always, every kill, get one mil casher, that's really nice. Now, if you are more of a PKR, you just click on the portal right here, and you get instantly teleported to Edgeville, uh, where there are also some shops here. And here, um, so you can also check drop tables here. You can reset skills, and um, yeah, just cross the border here, and then uh, you are in the wilderness ready to PK. Now, for the teleports, you can click on either this or you can just click on the, the world map as, uh, icon. So, for training teleports, you can teleport to all these places, um, then you have the skilling teleports. You have the uh, Skiller Village, and um, yeah, you can basically do any skill here. You have the Skilling Guide, which she will tell you uh, some stuff, and then you can do Thieving here, and uh, some other skills around here, like Woodcutting. So you can do Woodcutting here, you can Craft here, uh, Smith here. So yeah, that's uh, really nice. You can also do here some fire making on this bonfire. Uh, yeah, and here are some more shops then where you can buy skilling supply. There is also a wilderness resource uh, as you have on old school. Um, so yeah, you can get in here. Oh yeah, I forgot my cash. We'll be back real quick. Meanwhile, while I was close, I can just show off Scorpia. As you can see, it's uh, the same as on old school. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, just gonna die real quick okay so if you actually have the cash with you you can just go in the gate and um, yeah it's the same like on old school you can fish you can do wood cutting and mining and uh, fire making here so yeah that's really cool uh, you can also note items for 50 GP um, so yeah that's uh, the, the wilder wilderness resource so if you go to your player information and the game information, you can also check out the achievements uh, if you click on the symbol right here. And um, there are easy, medium, hard and I guess elite diaries. Oh, no elite, just easy, medium and hard. But um, you can do these diaries and then, yeah, achievements. And then here is the title shop. And... Um, here are the achievement titles that you can actually get, so that's really awesome. Now for the other teleports, you also have the wilderness teleports right here, so you can PK at these spots. Um, the boss teleports teleport you to basically any boss besides um, the Cerberus boss, because for Cerberus you would need to go right here, uh, but you need 92 or 93 Slayer, I guess, to kill it um, once you are here. I don't think I can attack it. Look, you need 91 Slayer. But here is Cerberus, fully working. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. Now to Zolra then. Zolra also is a fully working boss, as you can see here. It also has the three phases which it will switch to, as you can see right there. So um, yeah, that's also a really cool feature on the server. Of course, we also have a lot of minigames as Barrows, the Warriors Guild, Duel Arena, Pest Control. 
and all these other things um, you obviously can stake at the dual arena and the weapon game has been out on multiple servers so yeah that's a really nice thing to have then you have the city teleports so you have the elite members area which I can't access the staff zone which I can't access and the members area which I also can't access I can't access the mem members area I just showed you guys I'm my bad so yeah the members area as shown again is right here of course there is also a PvP store once you kill people where you can actually buy all these items that are used for PKing so as the Dragon Claws which are also available on the server. Um, you can get all these um, color recolors for your weapons, Fire Cape Fury, all that good stuff. As for doing Slayer you can obviously buy stuff with Slayer points as well. Um, you can get a free Slayer gem to check how many left of your task as well. Now if you just run south of home there are uh, there is this mini game uh, of zombie boss which you need to kill. You need to protect all the, uh, the city from the zombies. Um, obviously I won't kill it right now because I don't have any armor. But that's a, a really nice mini game you can do as well. Uh, which isn't on the mini game teleport you just have to run south if you teleport to home. Okay, now you can also check other people's profiles, so you can look at your profile and then you can see stats and everything that has been done. Uh, you can also see slayer tasks, killing and stuff, uh, all the levels, but um, obviously you can al uh, obviously you can also um, look to other people. Right now only Eddie is online, so uh, let's view Eddie if we can. I guess we can because he probably enabled privacy because he is the owner. So um, yeah, if there would be another player on, you could actually check their stats. So yeah, like this. You would get the same interface but with another player and you can check how many likes, how many dislikes, views, all that stuff he got. So um, yeah. Okay, so for the final part of this video, I'm just going to open 10 crystal keys. You can get... Um, Barrow's items from these if you are really lucky, so let's have a look what we get. Uh, that's some nice range armor. Dragon Methelm. Oh, here we go, we got lucky. Varex plate skirt and a rune plate body, which is an upgrade from my chain body. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, we actually got lucky and got a Varex uh, plate skirt and a rune plate body, so yeah, that's really nice. Anyways, that's going to be it for my server tour, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you want me to make a... Well, I am going to make a city on the server, but if you want to have a, a, an ID for a series, just uh, leave it down below in the comment box. So, uh, yeah, I might consider doing that series that you have posted. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below, subscribe if you didn't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm gonna go